Welcome back to City Skylines, ladies and gentlemen. Where I'm trying to create a road network, or a railway network, that doesn't look like I've got plunging absurdities. Looks like we're going to be dealing with a plunging absurdity here. Why? Well, because the underground network's in the way, so my main rail line is having to go under the underground. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, um, but because of the nature of the slopey terrain we've got to deal with over here, um, I think we're just going to have to live with it, because I don't think I can actually get that rail line from this station any lower. So we breached the surface with our rail line over here. So we're probably going to be connecting our passenger lines up to this. So I am going to want to make sure that we can do that with some ease. So let's get back up onto the surface. And connect there. Not happy, are you? Okay, there we go. And then we'll come out, run parallel for a bit. And meet. Double check we've got tracks. Yes, we've got tracks. Okay, so, rail route wise, I wanted to go one, two, three, and four. We're going to need a way to get directly between the two by the looks of it. So, can you connect up? Yes, you can. Slightly concerned about the shortness of that gap, actually. Ideally, you want to have any rail system you've got so that there's enough space to have a train essentially waiting and not holding up another set of junctions. Let me tinkering this a little bit. The problem I did with that is that the gap there just wasn't big enough. For my liking, so we'll be running it like that. Probably the best thing to do is to make that a more complicated junction. Have you run around in a loop? Like that. So there's, uh, I w could connect it here, but then that will immediately the problem is that I've got a really small junction there. So that means that route is connected up over here. So if I want to drag that route to there, peels off, and comes around, comes out, and goes back down that way. All the way back. Hmm. Yes, yeah, on the way back, it comes up that way. So on the way back, it comes along, goes in there, comes back out, goes to here. So that's why you've only got one coming out that way, and goes in that way. So there's the two directional route there, two directional route there. So yeah, okay, that's that connected up. Boot, boot. Can we possibly get a harbour there? No, no, we can't. So important places that we want to connect up to with our bus network. So, a couple of bus routes already in here. Let's have one that connects our city centre directly. 
Can I find a path? No, you wouldn't, because I haven't plugged it in yet. Okay. Looks like we'll be doing that next. Time to connect the road network up. So, we want highway connection. We're coming from here. I'd like to be able to go there. If we're leaving, I'd like you to come out over here. If you are on this side of the road, come up. No, no, I would like my curvy roads. Curvy roads is what I want. Join. And if you want to get out there, up twice, across, and join. So you can get in and out quite quickly. What I'm hoping the experiment with this section is, I have spaced these out quite far, in the vague hope that they will absolutely minimise the amount of traffic problems that I'm going to get from this. If you want to leave, you're over here. In no way is traffic that is leaving the district and going this way interfering with any of the other options. So, with that in mind, we can now plug that to our airport. And back. Also, I want to plug you to our cruise terminal and back, and then from here, connect up to. Are the bus station and back. Any other key and or important places that I would like to connect up to? Already got one there for the total tourist trap. <clears throat> oh, I named this place the Fiddler Crab, just because I could. Anywhere else we want to connect up to? No, I think I'm happy with that. So let's go to the bus route button. The set of lines we created were the last three here, I believe. Two and three. So let's all make you... Kind of shades of orange. So that we can distinguish you. As lines that are to do with that particular connection. Now, all these things are going to go through and get named later on. Okay, so that's that connection done. Now, ticking along across boats, harbour, airport, that's already built. Already got taxi stand. We'll probably stand up at a couple more depots in. Plus too much about that. Parks. Now we have an absurd amount of availability of happy things with all the leisure buildings we've got here, but that doesn't mean we can't make this area the best it possibly can be. So we are going to put in a significant number. Actually, it occurs to me that it would be better for me to have these parks in the centre of these districts. So I will park them out there for now. 
And what we will do is we will, having run all the way across here, we will start putting in our internal road network. So, let's have a look. What kind of shape do we want in here and how are we going to connect it up? Now we've got our MTR stations on the corners, so let's minimize our junctions by putting these in here. So we'll have just a straight line, so we'll have you serve that district. You serve that district. Has it moved the bus station over? Yes, it has. You serve that sub district. And you serve this sub district. Now we go down to our smaller roads and we fill in. And I'm going to leave not too much space along here because this is going to be the center of the city so I do want to fill it in as best as we possibly can get the most out of our high expense particular powerful building so I'm just going to go with a very standard grid with absolutely no gaps in between and then I will come through and tweak where I think there's spaces for our huge parks I'm trying to optimize them so they're essentially in the center of these structures so let's take this one for starters Not quite enough space because of the bus station there. However, right probably no, 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 no. Okay, so what we can do, however, is move that road further to the bottom. And now we will see that there is indeed space for us to not quite fit there, because you're obviously not quite a perfect square. You fit there. Nice. So I think we will just outright demolish that one. Pick you up. Put you there. Got one more already built, okay. Let's carry on with our zoning. This is going to be quite an intense area. One of the things that I am going to add in a bit, actually, once I've got this zoning all sorted out, is I'm trying to work out what kind of zoning we want in this area. Is how much of this is actually going to be residential? Because that is going to determine quite a few things. All right, so that's my train station. don't really want to put a junction in there. Actually, this shouldn't generate too much in the way of traffic like that. Now, let's see. It's not too steep, apparently. Okay, you can go there. Right, while I am here, we've got this lovely station in here. It would be a very determined shame if people couldn't easily get to it. Just uh, looks like we're deleting a little bit of that section of the There we go, that connects that up quite nicely. It occurs to me that we perhaps we've left a few more gaps here and there. Oh, 
think it's that camp is connected or not. I can't put it any closer. Yes, that is connected. Very good. That one definitely is. So is that one. And I should be able to just put one in across there. Just to make sure all these little bits and pieces are connected up in such a way that you can get, you know, across these relatively easily, because pedestrian access is going to be important in this district. It's all about making sure that people can move around as easily as they can by public transport, because otherwise things are just going to go gloriously wrong for us, because we'll just end up with so much traffic that the place will just snarl. And I'll be going, oh no, I built all these beautiful, beautiful buildings, and there's full of people who want to use them, and no, no one can move anywhere, because it's all, you know, on fire. On fire? Yes, on fire. That's what happens when you get so much traffic in city skylines. Everything just starts to discombobulate and into an explosion. Clunkety, 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 clunkety. I hope that the people do actually appreciate the efforts I go to to making sure that they can actually walk around these glorious structures and buildings that I've made an effort to put together. Now we're on to our last zone. Putting in our rather unimaginative grids for now, because ultimately I think we can let's see what we do about putting the park in there, shall we? We've got one ready over here. Slope is too steep. Okay, well let's put it in a, the best position we can. It should give me enough space to put in a road. All about the density. That pleasant, pleasant density. There. So we've got a little bit of a gap there, but it minimizes the roads. Now we're going to go back over to our pathing tool. Quickly connect all these up. What with the what with our bus routes all being based around the edge. It's important that we can get people to and from these roads so we can actually make use of our bus routes. Otherwise, all the work of putting the metros around the edge are wasted because we won't be able to get to and fro and from like this. Pretty sure that doesn't count as connected. Pretty in the dark, isn't it? Pretty sure you don't count as connected. No, you are. You are. You are. Strange that the paths are actually quite dark. There's the occasional street light on them, but when it gets a bit steep and slopey, they don't tend to bother nearly as much as you would think. So, path, path, path. Path. And path. All the edges over here. I don't think I'll break that up. It's a path. <laughs> wow. That's a um that's impressive. I am going to Sort that out a little bit myself. No, it doesn't appear to have worked too well. Let's um, just scruff the end of that and see what that one looks like. All right, that's a slightly, <laughs> slightly more rational, but not by much. So, it appears the game has a bit of a problem with slopes that are quite this steep. No, that doesn't work. 
Let's start at three. Go down to ground level. Yep. There we go. That's a rational path. Congratulations, game. I had to do that for you because you went. You know what? People are entirely happy with cycling up and down perfectly, perfectly absurd surfaces. Like this. I'm going to put a path in there. Look at that. You can't cycle on that. I mean, it's not bad as it does like a bit of concrete walling. <laughs> Technically, that's a path. Hmm. Panickings. So, there we go. That's the beginning of this. So, that's all the roads in. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be doing some zoning. Wow. Got to be very careful what we zone in here, otherwise we'll end up in a situation whereby the traffic becomes truly, truly hideous. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I am welcome and looking forward to your comments on these videos, so please do leave them. And remember to like and subscribe. I've been the Marmoset, this has been City Skylines After Dark, the city metropolis of Animalia.